Hi guys, I'm back again with another video. This one is going to be a tag video. Um, this is probably the second or third time I filmed this one because I couldn't make up my mind. Um, this is the starting over tag where you're supposed to pick 10 beauty type items that you would buy if for some unknown and totally hor horrific reason all of your makeup and stuff just vanished off the face of the earth. It, it sounds like some kind of nightmare, but anyway, we, we'll, we'll get through it together. Okay, um, I ummed and art over this so much because I've, I've literally gone for years and years and years without wearing any makeup, so um, I've only just kind of got back into it and built up an astonishing collection in quite a short time. Um, and yeah, so I'm <laughs> um, trying to refine it down again. It's very, very challenging. It is a lot harder than it sounds, um, particularly if you're trying to do skincare and makeup together as one thing. Um, so, nevertheless, this is this is my version of starting over tag. First thing would be I would get some Garnier Micellar Solution. I love this stuff. I found. When I first used it, I would like put it over my face and then I'd kind of like not really wait and then like sort of not be completely dry before I do something about it. And what I found is that if you put it on your face and then let it sit, you can kind of feel like these little oxygen bubbly type sensation on your skin. It's really interesting. Um, but I really like this stuff. It's, it's low cost and it's really effective and it lasts bloody ages really. Um, yeah, sometimes you have to maybe go over your skin two or three times to get it really, really clean. But I think it's better than nothing. <laughs> and that would be my go-to choice for a cleanser. Next would be um, a cream for daytime. And I would probably go for something like this one. Um, it's not technically meant for your face, but I would use it on my face. I have used this on my face. This is the Vaseline Total Moisture Aloe Fresh. It has an SPF in it, and it's. I find that a lot of um, sunscreens, they're just too heavy for my skin. It really doesn't like it. And then they kind of like run and get in my eyes, and that like really, really hurts. This one I don't have that problem with, and I can use it all over my body as well. You know, being really pale, I need to use sunburn cream all the time. So I would go for something like this that I can use all over my body as well as on my face and get protection and moisture at the same time. Uh, next would be I would get some kind of eye cream. This is the eye cream I'm currently using, which is the Olay Regenerist Eye Serum. I'm getting a little bit older and I'm starting to realise that I need to use an eye cream. Um, it may not be this one that I buy, um, but I would use some kind of eye cream, would be one of the first things I bought. I would, oops, sorry, I would also buy some kind of night cream. Now this is my new one for when I finish the one I've got going on at the moment, which is not very far away from being completely used up. Um, I quite like the Nivea um, type stuff. I have been using um, the Pure and Natural range. I thought I'd try this one out and see what it's like because um, I have fairly normal combination type skin. Sometimes it's a bit dry but um, yeah I would definitely be getting a night cream because I have found it's made a huge difference to the condition of my skin um, so I would definitely buy something like this. So that is four then I would have some kind of lip balm. This one is my Iced Pineapple Tangerine Lip Balm from Butt Naked Bath Boutique. I love this stuff because I love pineapple. Um, again, I might not necessarily, because this one comes from America, I might not necessarily get this particular lip balm to start off with, but I would get some kind of lip balm because you need moisture on your lips. Um, although I would probably be looking for a lip balm that had SPF in it. Just because, you know, that's the better way to go. 
Then, um, I would get some kind of cuticle cream because I love my nails. Um, and it didn't say that my nail polish went and then this wouldn't go, but you know, um, this is what I consider to be a beauty essential is to have um, cuticle cream and uh, cuticle oil. And the thing is, is if you don't have hand cream, but you do have cuticle oil, oil spreads a fair way. So you can actually use the excess from your cuticles to massage the rest of your hands. So that's something to consider. Um, this one's the oily one. It's not particularly cheap. Um, I'm not... There are so many different cuticle oils out there. Um, you can even make your own cuticle oil um, using like things like olive oil and with some essential oils in it, that sort of thing. But it would actually... I would buy cuticle oil. <laughs> or I'd buy cuticle cream. But I prefer oils in that case. So that is six. <laughs> Uh, next I would buy something like this. Well, this is my CC cream. It came from my Mimi box, which I'm totally in love with. It's what I'm wearing today. Um, I have realised that I prefer, especially in the hottest months like we're currently coming into, I prefer a tinted moisturiser, beauty balm or CC cream. This one is very effective at correcting imperfections on the skin which is why I really really love it so that is probably what I would go for is a BB or a CC cream one that I know is really effective uh, I tried I think it was the Garnier BB cream the other day for the first time I was actually pretty impressed with that um, yeah so that might be actually one that I would actually go for but um, that would be my preference is something like that especially something with a really good SPF in it although you know you've got the SPF moisturizer um, I do sometimes get like red patches and breakouts so it would be nice to have something to help minimize the look of that at the very least then we get on to the things that one could actually call proper makeup although I suppose CC creams kind of makeup but proper proper makeup um, always um and are about these kind of things because it's so difficult um, I would almost certainly buy a clump crusher mascara I know not everybody loves this stuff but this is my favorite mascara um, it's the one that I generally go to this one happens to be in brown black um, and it's almost gone I have a replacement um, but yeah this is this one's always gone um, but yeah it's my preferred mascara at the moment so I would buy one of them I have no eyelashes if I don't have mascara on. Um, I would, this is where the toss up comes. I would either buy some kind of eyebrow kit because I have virtually no eyebrows of their own and they're very pale, um, or I would buy a palette sort of like this one which has. Uh, lots of different variations in shade that had, although this one actually doesn't, which is why I would need that. Sometimes you can get ones that have a brown that you could use as a eyebrow colour. Um, I do have another one, but it doesn't have the other bit that I need that this one sort of does, which is using this eyeshadow palette, you can not only do your eyes, but if you take your lip balm, and a colour like this one here and pat some of that onto your lip balm you can get like a coloured lip so what I would look for is a eyeshadow palette that had neutral shades in it which you can then use every day preferably with an, a colour that you could use for your eyebrows because that was going to depend that would depend on your eyebrows but also had a shade that you could use as um, a lipstick and potentially too as a blusher type shade. Um, so I would be looking for, particularly for makeup items, I would be looking for multitaskers, things that would do more than one thing um, so that you get more bang for your buck. I know you can get like um, palettes that have blushers and eyeshadows and lipsticks in them, but that's kind of cheating. <laughs> but you know, it really pushed to to choose something that I would actually probably buy something like that, even if it is of lower quality, to have something to actually do your face with. Because 
the way I look at it is if you lost everything, you'd be feeling pretty shit. So being able to make yourself look better would be a good thing. Um, and if that was the case, if I ended up buying a palette that did the, the job of the eyebrow thing as well as that, I probably would then buy a nail polish because I like having my nails painted. So I don't know what colour nail polish I'd buy. It would just be the one that leapt out at me. It would probably be purple. Um, yeah. So um, I don't know how well I did. I'm sure you girls will tell me. But that was my starting over tag. Um, I'm probably not going to tag anybody. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Most of the people I know have already done it. So um, yeah. But I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.